PCS335 Cloud Computing Lab Experiment Number 9 Run a container from a Docker Hub Run a container from a Docker Hub So initially you can create an account in Docker Hub So go to your web browser and go to Docker Hub website So create an account So it will ask for your email ID So enter your email ID Then username, you can provide a username. This username was mandatory. So already not exist, so fine. Then you can create a password. Yes, then sign up. Then which will send a mail. So you can go to your Gmail. Then click and open that mail. Docker platform view and verify and confirm. So initially create an account and account verification was confirmed. Now a new Docker account was ready and your username was Keshav Raj, which will ask for your password, enter your password. So in a few seconds you can install, a, uh, you can create a Docker Hub account. So now the step was completed. Now you can create a new experiment for Docker in python so i will open my visual code ide i will create a new file the file which is named as docker file in that docker file in that docker file i will create whatever required for python so from which require the python so i will install the python python software colon the version number 3.8 hyphen the slim version Okay, then I will set the working directory. I will set the working directory slash app. Then I will copy the code. So dot all code to that app folder. Then at last I will execute my Python file. So cmd inside square bracket. I will type Python. The command is Python, comma. Then name of your Python program. My first program named as hello underscore world dot py i will save that file then i will create my python file so hello underscore val dot py inside that i will type print double quotes hello val If needed, you can give a bracket too. Then save the file. Simple Python program, then Docker file also return. Now you will go to view and then terminal and change it into command prompt. Then I will build that file. So Docker build hyphen t docker build hyphen t then name of the file python demo demo space dot then new docker container was built wait for few more seconds in python whatever library required everything was created After completing this, you can execute this program, whether it's properly working or not, using that command docker run python demo. So yes, it's working fine. Now this process also placed in that image python demo and container is also available. Now I will push that into my a docker hub. So docker push initially login so docker login
so enter then which need authentication so you can copy paste this link to the browser that's fine which ask for activation code you can copy paste that activation code from this yes continue confirm yes congratulations this success now docker login was connected yes successfully login succeed now you can push that code so docker push the project name as python demo which was pushed into my username d k e s a v r e j d k s h a v r a j slash your project name so python uh, project name you can give any name so i will give demo python okay then only i can pull it easy then okay one second you can use not push you can use tag okay so tag tag the tag named as python demo to dk shavrash slash demo python enter so python demo tag python demo dk shavrash slash python demo enter so now the project which will be hosted in docker hub so go to docker hub projects go to your docker hub then docker push python demo yes now you can verify access the name and you can type docker push username slash python demo then the entire process which will be pushed into my docker hub so this is what a new uh, python program was created and then docker hub account was created and docker login is a command which choose to login into docker account docker tag which is a command which choose to create a new repository and then inside that you can push your code so 29 mp wait for few more seconds entire things works fine so entire thing was pushed now you can go to your docker website and verify refresh yes
a new repository python demo was created and which is available that's fine now i will go to a new directory i will here i will create uh, cd data mkdir test cd test i will go to a new directory and then i will pull that image so docker pull download that is pull means download pull that image keshav raj slash python demo so pull that code yes verify that ls dir yes a new file was created now you can execute the file from here docker run docker run python demo yes a new folder a file was pulled and then which executed file entire things which works fine okay you can verify that e colon test i will open that folder e colon slash test i think that folder is empty wait a second file which will be received in local docker directory okay so it's the pulling image which is available in the local directory dk so right slash python okay this is was pulled file so it's executed here Now you can go to container and then go here and then go to view details. Hello world. This is what the Docker Hub works. So these are the commands in Docker Hub. So the first command, initially you can create a Docker demo and then build that file. So Docker build hyphen T Python demo save dot. Then the second one, you can run that file Docker run Python demo. Then third one, Docker login. You can log in into Docker, then copy paste this URL and then give the confirmation code. Then you can execute Docker, Docker tag Python demo and Keshavrai slash Python demo. So Keshavrai slash Python demo. Then Docker push Python demo. Then Docker push. then you can docker pull the directory and then execute that file this is what uh, docker hub which works so this is for uh, ccs335 the last experiment of cloud computing lab that is uh, running a container from a docker hub so go to docker hub you can verify this is a docker hub website the entire code is available so new repository is available. You can verify this. So this is a Docker Hub website. This is available here in the code latest. So entire things which is available here. So this is your experiment number nine, last experiment of cloud computing lab. Thanks for watching.